Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Tracy with Artful Creations by Tracy and I am here with another design team project with Taylor Made Cards for you. This month we are doing our own, picking our own kit and I chose the Grateful, Thankful, Blessed kit and with that kit comes a lot of wonderful products. So I'm going to show you some that I'm going to be using today. We have these Farm Fresh Pumpkin little circle pieces. So many things you can do with these. And I had downloaded those onto my Cricut and I had my Cricut print and cut and then cut them out. And so here's my page from that. <clears throat> I also did the same thing with this uh, page. These are signs. And the only reason why I didn't have the Cricut cut these out is when you remove the background it took all of this out and then it would just want to cut everything out and I figured this is not too bad I can pretty much cut this one by hand so I'm gonna do that here is another page that it comes with this one is called thankful grateful blessed card paper set and as you can see you get three um, these were the same obviously but you get uh, three pattern papers and then some more of those little cards and by the way I printed these and these out this is the guest check journal cards I got two pages of this I printed two of the or all these three on white Hamilton photo or not photo um, color copy paper and these with the pumpkins I don't know if you could see the shimmer this is kind of a shimmery Paper. I'm not even really sure. It's a cream color. I'll have to look and see what it is, but I can't really remember. But I do have all of these. So I'm going to at least get started with these. I'm going to cut them out and then we'll be back and I'll show you what we're going to do. Oh, but before I do that, I do want to point out that with this kit also comes with a full page of this paper, a full page of this paper, and then another full page of, oh, these. So you get, let's see, two, four, seven, seven different items in this, or actually seven pages in this particular digital kit, but many, many, many items. Okay, let's get started. All right, I am back, and... I'm going to start with these little guys. Now, when I first saw these and these, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with them. I also want to point out that any of these things you can resize to whatever size you need them to be. They are all SVG files. So these here, um, I just enlarged them just a little bit or... Mm, I can't remember if I enlarged them or shrunk them a little, <laughs> now that I think about it. But the page that actually um, has these were two of each one. So it was two of these, two of these, and two of these guys. And I just added extra Thanksgiving ones because of the idea that I had. So I'm going to just set these aside for now. Um, and then I'm going to, oh, and these here, I, these, what I'm going to end up doing with these, I'm going to create cards with. So I will then now put those aside, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to use these for. Every, uh, I like to host Thanksgiving. I really, really love Thanksgiving and we have been hosting Thanksgiving with our friends, some close friends of ours for, for the last three years now, I believe. So I'm going to create these little cute place setting decor and super, super easy. The size of these came out were uh, let me see. These are a two inch circle and I did not, I just created one full page. So then I got 12. 
Now, I believe there's only going to be 10 of us. So I got two left for a mistake. Or I can incorporate them in a card. But as you can see, something super, super easy. You're just going to take a punch. And this one happens to be a very small punch. I don't know if you can really see that. It's hard to tell. But it's not the big punch. It's just a very, very small punch. And I'm just going to line that up. Try to line it up. Center it. I have to do it this way so I can see. And of course, I'm going to go into my S a little bit. But that's okay. And then I'm going to do the same with my pumpkin or the P on the pumpkin. Important thing is to try to get them centered. And eh, close enough, I guess. <laughs> so that's all you're going to do for that one. And then, of course, what I will do is I have my twine. And you will start by just adding the twine into the one side first, tying it off. And then wrap it around and then attach it here. So it's something you'd have to do kind of the day of unless you Unless I want to take this apart and figure out how big they are. Or, I mean, you can do it that way. That's fine, too. Uh, whatever works for you. But anyway, I think this is so pretty. So it's very simple yet elegant. And I think it just makes a nice presentation for your napkins and your place settings. So this is the first project. I'll set that aside. And, of course, going with the Thanksgiving setting again. This is what I had in mind for these guys. Our place settings. And I just cut the... These are... Actually, these are mm, three and a half by two. I cut these two four by two and a half. And I'm going to glue them on a little bit down because I'm gonna put a little decorative piece right up there. So I'm just gonna get the glue and glue these on. And so this also not only is going to serve as a place setting, but what I also had in mind for this was that on the back side, if they want, I'm hosting quite a few boys and boys are not as compliant as girls are <laughs> on the back side they can write what they're thankful for and then they can have this as a keepsake but I'm but I would write everybody's name on here now I'm going to use the same punch again and I'm going to try to find the center and try to keep this pretty there so that's pretty good for eyeballing it I mean, it's not rocket science, and I certainly don't need to be totally exact like Martha Stewart. No offense to Martha Stewart. And then I have this other twine that I'm going to use. And I'm going to come through it like this so that I have this piece here. And then I'm going to come through that again. And then I will cut off that piece and bring it in through here. So now we have that. Now you need to be careful. This is only paper. And if you pull too tight, then you can very easily tear. So same thing when you're working with these guys, depending on the thickness of your paper. So I'm just going to make a knot and then tie a bow. Super easy, like I said. And then I probably will take, hmm, I have some colored Sharpies. Uh, instead of just using a plain black, I'll just probably use a brown. I wish I had that 
handy, but I have no idea where they're at at the moment. And just write a name on it. So these will become all the place settings. And I, like I said, I believe I have nine people I'll have, to, or ten, nine or ten. Um, but anyway, that's two really fun and easy projects that you can do with the Grateful, Thankful, Blessed kit, uh, a couple of their items. And now I'm going to um, move on and we're going to work on creating our cards. All right, I'm back. Grabbed a couple pieces of my, well, actually this was one full eight and a half by 11, cut in half, scored. And we're gonna use these, we're gonna use these two. And I decided that I'm just going to head, go ahead and use one of each of these, the ones that are on the shimmery paper. And I also had another thought of something that you can really do it would be a lot of fun also that would garnish your Thanksgiving Day um, settings is you can make these into a little banner either these or these you know if you want to keep them all the same I would do every other one so I'll just show you that really quick we can just make this into a really cute banner again punching holes using some twine and then you can hang it up wherever you'd like. So I think that would actually make a beautiful little banner. I decided I'm going to use some rusty hinge for some distressing or inking edges because I always feel like this needs it. And we're just gonna do a little bit of that. So while I'm working on my cards, I'd like to let you know that Yes, uh, Monica is still doing her monthly blog challenge, and all she had to do is go over to her blog, enter her blog challenge for a chance to win a $10 gift um, coupon, online coupon towards her shop, and it's anything goes, so there's never a theme, no worries about the theme. You do anything you'd like, and you can use any product you like if I have never mentioned that, which I don't think that I have. Also, I'd like to let you know that Monica is has just launched something new on her site. It's called the Backstage Pass, and I'm going to link that to her blog so that you can read about that, but basically what that is is a subscription so it's a membership subscription and you can download all her digital files for this low price of $29 it's a, a 3 one subscription and some other benefits and perks that I think will be forthcoming I'm just gonna wipe this up really quick so be sure to check that out. That sounds really fun and cool. I can't imagine not being able to use her digital files. They all are just so amazing. And you can use them for so many things, not to mention resizing. So they're available for all kinds of projects. She does a lot of journals and shows you how to make journals. It seems like a win-win to me. All right, so let's finish up with this card. I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward with some music for the rest of this card making.
have it. Pretty simple but cute. At the end there I found these little tiny buttons. I was cutting off the little nubs. Oops. So here's my other card. And then of course here are the name plate name uh, place what are those called <laughs> name plaques name whatever you know what I mean whatever they were I told you in the beginning my mind is it's late when I'm doing this video so um there are those and then our place setting all right well thank you for joining me today and I will try to have everything linked down at the bottom please check out everyone else's video in, in this uh design team um hop and join us next month for december that will be a we will have guest people hopping along with us we thank you for liking our videos watching commenting and i really hope you have a wonderful thanksgiving and a very blessed day